What up, that's them his water. Welcome back, guys. It's your boy Sean. Hey, your girl Mel. Yes, yes. yes. Welcome, everyone. We back. We are back. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. That's great. Good yourself, baby. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling amazing. Yeah, it's good energy. Good, good energy. Content. Come and get these. Fun. Make sure y'all get some of that. Get some of it. All right. So, babe, <laughs> today, what we got today? All right. Today, we'll be watching Justin okay. Bieber in tears over past trauma from music industry in resurface 2020 interview. Whoa, Nelly. Wow. Uh oh, you know this going leads back. Yeah, to sometimes you Diddy. can go back to interviews and you can like read into like a situation yes. that is current. Comb some things through, right? Yeah, it's most right. definitely. So, guys, before we get into it, smash that like button, turn on all notifications. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Good energy and good content, baby. That's what I'm talking about. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and. Everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. A 2022 interview from Justin Bieber has resurfaced. Oh, can we take that back? Because you can just see the pain. That's a lot of pain. You can see that little child that's you inside can, him. You can see the trauma and you can see he was abused. You can, Yeah, you can obviously I see. I mean, it's all over him. It's all over his face. And he's like, he's about to start crying out. Here we go. That's it was hard for me. Being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. A 2022 interview from Justin Bieber has resurfaced in the wake of Diddy's legal drama. In the sit down with Zane Lowe four years ago, Justin isn't talking about the disgraced media mogul directly, but his past trauma in the music industry, his album changes and being a newlywed to wife Haley. I think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff of my past and I wasn't able to move on. Talk of the video comes after footage of Diddy and Justin also resurfaced on social media recently. Not anyone could just be in the position that I'm in. Video shows Diddy alongside teenage Justin, leaving people to speculate if, at the time, he subjected the pop star to his alleged freak-offs. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the sex performances, which he called freak-offs, and he often electronically recorded them. The freak-offs sometimes lasted days at a time. You gonna hear about my party, they're gonna be shutting them down, they're gonna probably be arresting me, doing all types of crazy things just because we want to have a good time. During the Zane Lowe interview, Justin breaks wow. down in tears when talking about wanting to protect Billie Eilish, who at the time quickly rose to superstar status. Well, I just wanted to be a good example, and uh, it was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. I just want to protect her, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. When it comes to wow. what Justin thinks of Diddy's Alex. So what did you go through? That's the you thing. You know what's sad, you know, the way that they portray the glamorous Hollywood life to, yeah. you know, to us, the viewers, the fans. And really, it might be hell, And right? they're going through this hell, this traumatic hell for money. They wish they never signed their contract. This is really sad to me. And it's almost like they just signed their soul over. Yeah. You know, And it's to sad to watch Justin Bieber, you know, break down about just trying to protect someone else from someone what else. he went through. That shows he has a very good heart. He's yeah. a very good person. And he knows what's Even coming. Even though, you know, he was affected by Hollywood and... Yeah, I mean, like you said, everyone said, you know, they love him. Yeah. And he didn't know which way to turn. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Allegations. A source tells ET, Justin's not focused on what is going on with Diddy or the allegations against him. Instead, our insider says Justin and Haley are focused on Baby Jack, whom they welcomed in August. They've been absorbed in their own happiness and family, appreciating this time together. In fact, building a family with Haley was top of mind during Justin and Zane's chat, an idea that lifted the singer's spirits. I'm really excited to have babies with you, enjoy, just celebrate. You know, all the amazing things that we've been given 
Because we are blessed, babe. We are, man. There's so much pain in the world, and you don't understand. We don't understand why, and there's so much things that are so unexplainable. But what is the reality? We are blessed, you know. Amen. Wow. Wow. I like. He is the example man. of I if it doesn't like kill you, it makes you stronger. Wow. You can tell that someone Very took resilient. advantage of him. Yeah. His career. And now, you know, he's a grown man with a family. Yeah. He's looking back over his career like, you know, yeah. um, I wish I was protected. I yeah. wish I could have did things different. Yes. And you know, he still sees the blessings in life. Yeah. So. Yep. At the end of the day, still blessed. Still yes. blessed to be here. Most definitely. You know. And, um, wow. That's it's just really so sad. sad. Yeah, it's sad that he had to go through that. And it's sad that, you know, he is, it's still affecting him today. Yeah. You can, he's wearing it. Yeah. It's, it's very painful for him to yeah. discuss, even though he's, you know, he's happy with his wife and his new baby and he feels blessed. It yeah. still doesn't take away his experience and what he had to go through and, you know, what he's feeling. Yeah, and then I thought, like, in my mind, like, he was probably, like, what, 13, 14? He was a kid. When he met Diddy under the under the, the control of Who Diddy? Who would leave their child with Diddy? That's a problem right there. That's a grown man, and your child was spending the night running around in the mansion. God knows what is going on in there. I mean, you back know. then, I can honestly say, like, the parents were more gullible. Yeah. Because they didn't have all this stuff out. These yeah. were, like you know, secrets yeah. back then. So I can't really judge her, you know, the mom too hard. Yeah. I get it. She it's was just, just so wanting sad. the best for her son. Yeah. And someone but on the you, other like, hand, you still have to protect you your kids. You gotta protect your child. Because someone can, you know, tell you, oh, I can make him a superstar. Just, you know, send him out here. We're gonna get him in and, you know, record a studio. We're gonna have an album out. Um, He's gonna be able to take care of the family and do things and Yes. Um, it's some strings attached. Yeah, he you know? clearly he just wants to move on with his life. He doesn't want to discuss yeah, what so happened between him and Diddy. Closed. He just wants to move on. He just wants peace. So wow, my heart goes out. Uh, to prayers me going out to Justin Bieber. Absolutely. Yep, that's our time, guys. We appreciate you guys watching. We are signing off. But make sure you get inside the comment section. Subscribe yeah. to the channel. Oh, and turn on the notifications. We yeah. thank you guys. We're yeah. signing off. Have a blessed day. Have a Peace. blessed day, guys.